Hey y'all, it's Dr. Tiffany. Um, this is a uh, viewer question. TinaMarie.com asked, uh, can you please do a video question with people with underlying diseases like um, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, scleroderma, diabetes, uh, etc. So certain uh, diseases are risk factors for more severe uh, COVID infections, okay? Um, some of the ones that uh, are most notable are COPD, um, pulmonary fibrosis, uh, chronic kidney disease, diabetes, uh, Down syndrome. Uh, that one actually is quite uh, is quite a big risk factor. Um, things like heart failures or cardiomyopathy, severe coronary artery disease, HIV. Um, certain uh, neurologic conditions. Uh, you know, the, one of the big ones is obesity, okay? Um, in America, we kind of, a lot of us have that problem. Pregnancy is another one, okay? That's a, that one's associated with unusually severe disease in young people. Um, smoking is a risk factor, sickle cell disease. Uh, substance abuse disorders, a lot of times, because people don't really uh, seek care until they're too sick with those kind of problems. And anything that makes you immunosuppressed, like uh, if you're on chronic corticosteroids, or if you're a transplant patient, or you know, and you're on immunosuppressants or whatnot. Um, things that uh, we've looked at that we thought would be risk factors but really haven't totally panned out are things like asthma, hypertension, um, genetic immune deficiencies, and uh, liver disease. Um, asthma weirdly seems to have, people seem to do a little better than you would think. Um, that surprised me. But look, on all everybody that is still, the vax still helps, okay? Um, if you're scared about side effects, uh, remember that there's, you know, one third of people who get COVID have, you know, long-term side effects, okay? Um, compared to, you know, a, a tenth of a decimal percentage or less with uh, the vaccine. So it's literally a thousand times more likely for you to have long-term effects and side effects from COVID. And that's, you know, counting and, you know, and that's not even got the people who die from it, okay? That's why I'm such a strong proponent of it, because the math is so stacked against uh, people when they get COVID, and it's so stacked for people when they've got their protection, when they've got their vaccine. If you don't want to get the vaccine, if there's no way at all, please wear a mask and social distance, okay? So I want to see all y'all um, make it through this, uh, even if it is to gripe at me in my comment section, okay? I love y'all. Please be safe.